here's a menu. So as you can see, we have a selection of small plays. They're all inspired by the street food of India. Incredible. V Vada Pao? Yes. Vada Pao deep fried potato dumpling served inside a brioche bun accompanied with spicy mint chutney. There's no option for me, I have to have that. Certainly. Um, can I ask you a big favor? Yes. Can I watch it being made? Of course. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. As easy as that. As easy as that. Yes. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. Excellent. I've never seen such a clean kitchen. Oh, thank you. Stainless steel everywhere. Yeah, yeah. We take a lot of pride in keeping our uh, kitchen very clean and uh, for serving delicious food. What would you like to try I've today? I've had the water power before. Oh. It's absolutely delicious. Thank would, you. Would you be kind enough to share your recipe for water pao? Absolutely, yes. Yeah? Yes, okay. yes. So I look forward to watching you make it. Okay. Thank you. Well, I can't wait. Thank you. All right. Circle. My name is Lavanya Mahate and today we're going to make a Vada Pao for you. Vada Pao is a quintessential Mumbai street food and it's a yummy potato patty in, inside a bun and with different condiments. So, so we're going to use a bunch of spices and fresh herbs and onions and some um, spice, whole spices. But we're going to start with the batter first. Yep. So I have two cups of uh, chana basin flour, chickpea flour. And I'm going to add about a quarter teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder, just a little bit, a little goes a long way. Then I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of uh, red chili powder and three fourths a teaspoon of salt. And these are the spices that go into the chickpea flour. I'm going to give it a quick mix so the spices get nicely incorporated. I'm going to add some water to make it the batter for our vada pao. We don't so. want it too thin or too thick, but just the thickness coats the back of a spoon. Okay. Also, we're going to add in here half a teaspoon of carrot seeds which have a nice nutty flavor and they're good they're really good with deep fried items and uh, Indian cuisine we believe that food is medicine too the carom seeds or the caraway seeds kind of help with uh, anything that's deep fried so it's uh, good for digestion okay. so this so batter is ready and we're going to let it rest for about 10 minutes while we make the the patty so now we're going to make the patty with the potato and the spices so we have all our ingredients here and I have a pan getting heated up here so a nice medium temperature and I'm going to start with uh, two teaspoons of oil and it's just vegetable oil I'm going to start with about six curry leaves be careful because they splutter then I'm going to add about quarter teaspoon of mustard seeds. These flatter as well. And give it a nice toast until they stop spluttering. And then I'm going to add half a cup of sliced red onion. It's important that we saute the onions right. till they're soft and on a medium temperature. Next, I'm going to add quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. Just give it a quick saute, and then I'm going to add the uh, half a cup of boiled peeled and mashed potatoes. Mm 
Next I'm going to add another quarter teaspoon of uh, chili powder. You can increase the amount as per taste. Some people like it more spicy. You could add even green chilies, but I'm using red chili powder today. And about half a teaspoon of uh, salt to season the potato. So this is how you temper the potatoes with all the spices and the onions and the curry leaves. And next we're going to make this into a patty dip it in the batter and fry it. Yep. So doing this additional seasoning of the potatoes really gives the cake a lot of flavor. Um, so it's a nice little restaurant uh, tip that I hope everybody can try and make their own vada paz at home. Okay, I want to finish this up with some cilantro. Um, that's a tablespoon of chopped fresh coriander. So the mixture is ready and so now I'm going to turn off the stove and then just uh, form it into the patty. Okay. I'm cooling the mixture a little bit and yep. also working in all the spices into the potatoes so they're nicely incorporated. mixture is nice and cool. Now we're going to form the patty for the vada pav. The vada. Okay, here is the lovely potato patty. Okay, so I'm going to dip the patty in the batter that we made previously. Just give it a light coating on all sides. Then I'm just gonna pick it up. And then just put it in the oil. And we're gonna let the vada fry there for about three to four minutes till it's nice and golden in color. And then we're gonna take it out and sandwich it between the bread. Just need to be cut it so don't make a spark and don't get blast there. We don't so, have a chili yeah. explosion. Yeah. So okay, I'm just gonna put the green chilies. We just slightly slit them so they don't burst or pop and then put it in the hot oil along with the vada and let it fry for another couple of minutes. So we're fry the chili, it's very classic. Uh, accompaniment to vada pav where people like to take a bite of the vada pav and a bite of the chili for that added heat. We have some slight popping here. Okay, it's ready to come out. So I'm just going to drain the oil and drain it on the paper towel. So I've taken this uh, pan, medium to heat, and then put some butter on it and you take a bun and just kind of slop up all the butter on both sides. It's so delicious. Butter makes everything better, especially with vada pav. You want to nicely butter your bread. I'm using um, a brioche bun. Traditionally, we use pav. But uh, we've seen that the brioche bun works really well. It's got a nice, um, slight sweet undertone that most people love. So we're just going to let this toast for about a minute till it's nice and golden. And then we're going to put our vada pav together. So let's give it a quick look. Now the bread is nice and golden and toasty. So I think we're ready to assemble our vada pav. I'm going to take this back to the station. Okay, so I have the bread toasted nice and golden. We have the vada also golden fried as well as the green chilies that have been uh, just flashed in hot oil for a minute. And then I'm going to take the coriander chutney uh, which has coriander, mint, garlic, um, ginger, salt, oil, and just give it a nice smear on one side of the toast, which is bread. And then on the other, I'm going to use our 
tamarind chutney, which it has a nice sweet uh, plum sauce sort of a taste. So the spicy and the sweet kind of give you all the flavors, which uh, street food is famous for. And then I'm going to place our butter on um, the bread and then just close it. And I'm going to slice it just right in the middle to expose the pretty colors of the chutneys and the vada. And I'm going to plate it right here along with uh, some dry garlic chili chutney. Uh, it's a powder form but it has a nice spicy um, taste and it's a uh, it's a it's a must accompaniment for the vada pav along with the dry chili. So dry garlic uh, chili chutney or the suki chutney, which is a traditional accompaniment with the vada pav along with the green chili. So there you have it. It's the vada pav Mumbai style right here in Swiss cottage. Thank you, chef. My Thank pleasure. you, chef Lavanya. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'm gonna give the vada pav a try. Just dip it in some garlic chutney. I love the flavors. It's got sweet, spicy, tangy, uh, a little bit of pungent. All the flavors that street food should have are all packed in this vada pav right here. It's got a nice kick to it. And the soup so chutney really adds to the dish, as well as the mint and the tamarind sauces. So. This is a perfect uh, street food item that you should come try at Saffron Circle in Swiss Cottage if you're feeling um, in the mood for some chat. Very much appreciate you sharing your secret water power recipe, Mumbai style but Saffron Circle style. Yes. Until next time, God bless you. Yes, you too. Thank bye -bye. you. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.